Hi there, it's Damien here from Anton. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these things, which is a carbon monoxide personnel alarm. Um, basically, carbon monoxide for a heating engineer is, is a very real risk. If you're close enough to one of these things to be servicing it, you're close enough to it to be poisoned by carbon monoxide. Obviously, ordinarily, the flu is taking any products of combustion away from the appliance and out to a safe place. Um, but often you're getting called to a, a faulty appliance. Now, the reason why it might be faulty is the flu could be blocked or well, the seals might have gone and, you know, there's carbon monoxide coming back into the property. So a lot of people will say, I don't need a, one of these if... Um, you know, the household has let me in, how unsafe can it be? Well, not every appliance is in the kitchen anymore. A lot are in the loft or a basement, you know, a confined space. So they might be getting low-level poisoning as the, the carbon monoxide is coming out of the, the faulty boiler, traveling down through the ceiling or up through the floorboards, and they're getting a low-level poisoning. Um, but you could be going into that confined space, putting it into service mode, and getting a lot of carbon monoxide in a short space of time. The benefit of one of these things is it will tell you if there's carbon monoxide there at a low level. So you'll never be exposed to a dangerous level of carbon monoxide because this first level alarm will go off at 30 parts per million. So if there's a high concentration on the boiler, as you walk closer to it, further away from it, it's going to go off long before you get to the very, very concentrated carbon monoxide that's in and around the appliance. Um, or obviously if you start it up and it starts producing carbon monoxide and putting that, spilling that back end into the room, it's going to warn you as it starts to um, uh, accumulate. Um, so carbon monoxide you can't see, you can't taste, you can't smell it, you, don't, you just don't know it's there. Um, you know, the first thing you might know is going home with a headache, or well, that could be low level poisoning. Well this protects you from all of that. Um, it's got an electrochemical sensor in there that reacts with the carbon monoxide and, out, and then obviously, as I said, it goes to get alarms. So you get visual alarms, it vibrates and it's, it's got a very loud sounder. Um, so you can't really miss the fact that you're um, yeah, in an environment where there's some carbon monoxide present. It's designed, it's designed like this to be clipped to your person so that it's in your breathing zone. So you should wear it every day. Um, it's not just commercial guys that are doing big appliances. If you're servicing domestic appliances, you can be exposed to carbon monoxide. So we say that um, if you're wearing it here and you're wearing it every day, it's, it's actually, it's monitoring what you're breathing. Um, it's no good being in the bag or on the side because it's not gonna protect you. It's all about its personal protection. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the good thing about ours is it's a disposable instrument. When you get it, you turn it on, you activate it by pressing that button and it makes a beep and it, it basically comes alive and it stays on for two years. Um, Mine has only got seven months left on it, so there's a little seven on the display. But if that's actually still carbon monoxide, I think it's above 10 parts per million, then you start to get a reading. Um, and obviously over 30, you get, a, you get the alarm, and it just warns you to get out, basically. Um, so the last two years, ours is designed for actually much more um, sort of arduous environments than a typical place where you find a domestic um, boiler. They're designed for sort of offshore work and uh, sewage treatment works and things like that. So they are incredibly robust. <laughs> Just pick that one up. I don't recommend you do that, but it's absolutely fine. Um, they will last two years is the point. So, um, you know, you can buy that. They cost around, it costs you about a pound a week. At the end of the two years, you throw it in the bin um, and replace it. But for a pound a week, it could be the difference between you going home that night and not. And, um, you know, we're really pleased that more and more even one-man bands are buying this to protect themselves. But for businesses, more and more cottoning on, if you employ uh, an engineer or 200 engineers, uh, Health and Safety at Work Act says that you need to provide a safe working environment. So if you're working on one of these, the chances are you're gonna get exposed to CO at some point, or you, there's a risk of it at least. Um, and therefore, that risk assessment says you need to provide something to mitigate against that. As an employer, the only way you can do it is by you know, it doesn't have to be ours, but something like this to ensure that you're, um, you know, compliant in, in, in the law. Um, obviously, we'd recommend ours because it is robust, it will last for two years, and we think it's great value for money. Uh, any questions, get in touch with us. Um, all our details are on our website. Thank you.